Before this video starts, I would like to say thank you for voting in the community tab. I honestly didn't expect to get close to 50 votes or even more than 50 votes in 24 hours. And the overwhelming majority wanted to see this video rather than being an actual text or not doing the video at all. So yeah, once again, thank you for like the responses. Honestly, incredible. Like You guys are incredible. So anyways. There will be a really big warning regarding this video. There's going to be a lot of math involved, a lot of numbers. So if you're the type of person who hates math, who doesn't like math, this is the video for you. This can be also kind of difficult to explain, so I will apologize in advance if I didn't explain well enough. So once again, a lot of numbers. All right, you have been warned. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another GMP video, I'm your host Jornel and today I will be doing an, another Trove math related video and this time it's going to be about damage coefficient and multipliers and abilities. This is going to be a pseudo live commentary because I'm, go I'm reading actually a script right here on my second monitor and on my first monitor I have the game right here so I can just showcase the testing a little bit better on live commentary. So this is mostly going to be also a console player type tutorial since pc player does have the better ui mod which tells you you and your coefficient uh, as a stat on your class and your character sheet still knowing the coefficient is how you get damage multiplier on ability so it's pretty important if you want to know how strong every ability is the entire game so let's get started with what is damage coefficient what does it do and the importance of knowing damage coefficient and also a little extra on damage multipliers on abilities and how to actually check damage multiplier and with every single ability in the entire game. Also another thing regarding the video on the Vampire and Vanquisher, I'm still pretty affected by my own stupidity so I will try my best not to mess around like I did in that video so yeah. So alright, let's get started. What is damage coefficient? Damage coefficient in Trove, to put it lightly, is the multiplication of your base damage and critical damage. So, or I will, and I like to call it is your true base damage. I will tell you some formulas again, and I will also tell you an easy way to get your damage coefficient without doing like a lot of math and a lot of junk like that. So this will be how you normally get the damage coefficient and an easy way to actually get it if you don't have any way of actually checking your damage coefficient. I will be using my knight as you're seeing on screen as an example. So yeah, let's get started. Damage coefficient formula, it is as follow. Damage stat, multiply that by your critical damage in a full number that is in a percentage. I'll explain that in a bit. Plus your damage stat. And that's how you get your damage coefficient. So what do I mean by critical damage as a full number? So you know that the critical damage as a stat is actually a percentage base. So as you're seeing right here, I am a percentage base on critical damage stat. So the way you convert that into a full number, you just take your critical damage and divide that by 100. So as an example, as you're seeing right there, and my knight is 2038.8 critical damage percentage. So if I divide that by 100, I will get 20.388. And this number is my critical damage as a normal number rather than a percentage. Now with that, we know the critical damage as a full number. The damage stat is the highest stat that you have on your character. In my case, it's going to be the physical damage. Since I'm a physical damage character, I got 339,738 physical damage. That is my damage stat. So the formula on my knight is going to be damage stat, which is 339,738 times critical damage as a full number. So that's 20.388, like I mentioned right there, plus 339,738. The reason I'm doing it in this order is because if you do the 339,000, your damage stat, and you pretty much add the same damage stat twice, then you're going to get a really high damage result. So you have to actually do your damage stat, multiply by cr your critical damage, and then add the damage stat once again. And the result in my in this case it is seven million two hundred and sixty-six thousand three hundred and sixteen. You can actually check it on the calculator, and you will pretty much get that point three forty-four, which is like the uh, the decimal. So you can just go ahead and check it if you want. Which you can tell right here with my turtle time, since the turtle time does a one times damage multiplier, the turtle time will be dealing close to that damage. It's because that you saw right there. 7,266,350. So as you saw right there, the turtle tank is dealing a slightly higher damage just because the turtle tank doesn't have like 1x 
multiply it has like 1.005% it's like close to 1% so let's just round that out to 1 times damage again keep in mind not 100% accurate with the turtle time because the turtle time does slightly higher than 1 times damage but right now you might be thinking there's a lot of calculation dude I am not gonna do all that like hell no there's no point in me doing that and I don't blame you because there's a lot of math involved in actually getting your coefficient. But like I said, there's a really easy method of actually getting your damage coefficient and that is shooting enemies with the turtle tank. It does work with physical damage and it does work with magic based character. It doesn't even matter which is your damage character is going to take your highest damage multiplier and actually do a damage multiplier uh, one times damage multiplier so if you're seeing right there my knight is still in 7.2 mil and my gunslinger since my gunslinger has higher coefficient than my knight you can tell that my gunslinger will be dealing at 8.9 million damage all right so turtle tank is pretty much the easy way to actually check your coefficient and yeah the coefficient is pretty much the most important thing to actually know so the turtle tank testing has to be on everything that is in Geo Top Side or Shadow Tower, since the Geo Top Side Shadow Tower, you're dealing less damage in those cases or more damage if it is hard Shadow Tower. So, we want you to do this testing against normal enemies. I'm right now on a novice world, which is the Medieval Highlands world, just testing this damage. So, if you want to test your damage, do it on any uber portal that is in geo top site or shadow towers so i gave you also i gave you the formula if you want to be as precise as possible and you, you want to go the extra mile then you have that as an option but again you can easily just use the total tank just to check the damage the damage is not going to be 100 percent accurate but if you saw right there the difference between my total tank damage and my actual damage coefficient is less than 35 damage so yeah just use the turtle tank honestly speaking but if you don't have the turtle tank first and foremost get the turtle tank turtle tank is cheap and it gives 100 mastery points so it is a really good amount in terms of mastery points and it, but if you don't want to spend flux for whatever reason then you can use an attack that does one times damage multiplier like the shadow hunter class gen basic attack the shadow hunters trap dino tamer basic attack without ult chloro basic neon ninja basic attack lunar lancer basic attack so on and so forth there's plenty of ability that does one times damage so you can go ahead and check that one out or if you don't have any of those things you can also if you're a physical damage character you can also use bomb so if you can tell right here if i use bomb i will be dealing slightly higher damage it's like 7 million 266 900 which is like 600 damage more than my turtle tank but still you have that as an option you can take that as a reference now that you know everything regarding the coefficient and why is it so important you might ask it's pretty important if you want to know if you're doing more overall damage you can actually just keep checking your coefficient to see if you're doing more damage or not this is also a perfect way to actually min max your character so if you want the character to be as powerful as possible you can actually just keep checking your coefficient to see if you're doing more damage or not also knowing the coefficients is actually how you check damage multiplier on ability so if you want to know how strong is a multiplier on a specific ability you can actually use the following formula the following formula that i will be showing you is how you check damage multiplier with a critical hit and without critical hits so the damage multiplier with critical hit is ability damage with critical hit so whatever damage that you want to test in my case if i want to test that spirit square just take the spirit square and do that amount of damage which i'll showcase in a little bit just take that number that you saw right there with the ability no flash nothing involved just your base damage your base critical damage with that ability and divide that by your coefficient so you divide those two and you will get the damage multiplier it has to be in that order otherwise it's going to be a little bit weird so yes that is only if you're doing critical hit if you're not doing critical hit you're going to divide the damage that you do with your ability which is the damage without critical hit and divide that by the damage that you're dealing if you're dealing physical damage or if you're dealing magic damage if you're doing physical damage then you divide that by your physical damage if you divide that by your if you are doing magic damage then you divide that by your magic damage simple as that so again i will be using my knight as an example and i will be using the spirit square as today's example i did say in, uh, in this case spirit square which is the class gem ability it does eight times damage the reason i say this is because if you're seeing my damage right here my damage is currently sitting at 58,131,740 damage 
And if you remember my coefficient, my coefficient again is 7,266,316 damage. If it is, if you're talking about the coefficient that I did get from my formula rather than the turtle tank. So once again, the formula on the damage multiplier, the damage ability, should be 58,131,740, uh, which is the damage that I'm dealing with Spear Square. Divide that by my coefficient, which is 7,266,316, and the result should be 8.0001, or in other words, 8 times damage. And without critical hit, if I remember correctly, this is the number that I have here on my script, is 2,717,904 damage with my Spirit Squire. And my damage stat, which since I'm doing physical damage, so I have to divide that by my physical damage, which is 339,000. 738 so the formula should be the damage that i'm doing with spirit square 2,717,904 divide that by my physical damage 339,738 and again the result is eight in other words eight times damage so yes with or without critical hit both of them are doing eight times damage so that's how you check damage multiplier once again if i'm doing something like basic attack you can just go ahead and oh what is the damage that I'm dealing? Oh, check that number, divide that number that you saw right there by your coefficient, and the result should be the damage multiplier. So that's pretty much how it works. Like, this is how you get damage multipliers on abilities. That's how I know damage multiplier, or if I just go off an estimate, because sometimes I don't even use the calculator, I just use mental math, so yeah. So you can do this with every single ability in the entire game. That's how you check damage multiplier. And yeah, in my opinion, it's pretty interesting. And knowing damage multiplier is how you actually know how strong or how weak the ability is. So if you can take that, then you can take how many attacks you're doing per second, then you can actually check your DPS. That's pretty much how everything just works out. If you don't want to do any of this, like again, I previously mentioned, this is a lot of math involved in this game. It's not that it is very complicated to do, but it is a lot of math if you want to check little things here and there and if you want to know how strong or how weak every single ability is. Uh, anyways, that's all regarding this video about coefficient and damage multipliers. And yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around as always. I will just mention right here, if you want to know a really good coefficient for a U10 type character, which is a character that you want to have as much light as possible, Make sure to get a damage coefficient close to 7 million damage. I'm dealing 7.2 million damage. A good damage coefficient should be as a 30 KPR should be around 6.5 million damage and have at least 4,000 light. If you're doing those amount of damage, then you should be speed farming U, uh, U10 and you have a really strong Uber 10 character. However, if you're looking for the most amount of damage possible, this is like coefficient. Like if you want coefficient as high as possible then you should be dealing close to 8.9 million damage a really good stat should be around 7 mil damage 7 to 7.5 million damage if you want to know if you're doing really good in terms of coefficient however there's a, lot, a couple of things here and there to keep in mind so the candy barbarian lunar lancer and something like boomerang will definitely have higher coefficient than your standard characters like i'm doing here with my gunslinger so you're going to see really high multipliers with those characters i will do a little quick example with my candy barbarian as you're seeing right here 30.1 you're seeing those stats right there and with my candy barbarian doing really close to the damage of my gunslinger uh, which is 8.3 million damage and if you check something like, let's say for example, my Shadowhunter, which is even higher PR, and in my opinion has better stat than my Candy Barbarian with better gems. However, if I just do that with my Shadowhunter, and if you can tell right here, it's 6.4 mil. So Candy Barbarian, Luna Lancer are going to have naturally high coefficient just because of the base physical damage default that they have. So that is all I wanted to just do, I have to keep in mind. Uh, certain characters will definitely have higher coefficient, but for the most part, if you want a standard base coefficient with every single character, at least 7.5 million if you're going with maximum damage, and at least 6 mil to 6.5 million damage in coefficient if you're going for a U10 type character with at least 4,000 light. 
Thank you for watching. Once again, thank you for sticking around as always. Leave a like if you want to help the channel grow. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'm sorry about all of that math, but that is all for today. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and keep on hunting. And yeah, sorry about all of those numbers. It's just I wanted to do a little bit of explanation regarding coefficient. And yeah, I wanted to just show you how I do my damage multiplier, how I know damage multipliers. So that is all I have to say. Farewell.